So first things first, what you want to do, you want to head over to this website right here, which is what I'm on and click download. All right. So I'm going to download the latest windows version. I'm going to click the, uh, 32 bit installer. That's downloading. I'm gonna go over here. This is where you're going to have your PlayStation 2 BIOS, which is required in order to uh, even access the emulation. And you're also going to need um, something to extract the files. I use 7-Zip, it's also in the description below if you need it. You can use WinRAR if you have that as well, which I wouldn't re really recommend. I don't like WinRAR, but it could work there as well. So but once it's done, you wanna head over to your downloads and check show in folder. And this is the emulation right here. So let's exit out this real quick. Oop. It's OBS. Okay. So they have two options that you can choose. One normal installation, the other is portable installation. For the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna use normal installation. So there we go. Normal hit next. And then you're not gonna see it, it's gonna be a blank screen. It's just gonna tell you uh the user control. Just click yes and it's gonna ask you if you want to have a desktop shortcut and just click next <clears throat> and then now they're gonna ask you exactly where you want to put the emulation in your storage so it could be on your uh your desktop it could be on a external ssd or an internal ssd it really depends for the sake of the tutorial i'm just gonna put it on my desktop so click install click finish Okay, so now it's gonna ask us the language that we want it to be in. So I'm in the US, so we're gonna put English, US, and click apply. Then we're gonna click next. Now, for this, you wanna click here, uh, the GS. This is gonna be the renderer, which is going to allow you to play said games. This is like the graphical settings. Um, you can change this if you're experiencing like technical difficulties. But I just normally keep it on OpenGL hardware because that works just fine for me. And over here, you want to go to internal install uh, internal resolution, which is at native. But if you want to bump it up to say 1080p, 1440p, even 4K, you possibly could. If you have a display that supports said resolution, I'm stuck on 1080p, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are. So I'm going to put 1080p and. Uh, Anastropic filtering, that's basically just to make the game uh like you know less artifacty and just look more cleaner and better. And it's gonna take away, you know, that uh PlayStation 2 gunk from it. So you, you could put it up to 16x, but I'm just gonna put it to 4x just because and just want to click OK. Next is gonna be your pad configuration. So you want to head over to, to configuration, go to pad one. And you can use a PS3 or a PS4 controller, which I do not have at the moment. I only have a Xbox Series X controller, which is what I'm going to use, but it works the same way, I assume. So the way you want to do this is you want to click on each button and then you want to press the corresponding button on the controller. Like, for instance, triangle. We want the triangle to be Y on Xbox. And as you can see, you just updated Y is linked to triangle and then you basically do the same exact thing for every single button so I'm going to do that really fast and come back to you on that okay so now that I'm done I'm going to click apply and then okay so we're done with that then you want to click next okay now this is where you want to go back to your PC BIOS which we're going to open up right here hold on give me one second just drag and drop this here and what you want to do is you want to make a folder for it so we're gonna make a folder we're gonna title it bios and we're gonna extract the files in here right i'm gonna go in here right click seven zip extract here okay now we have that done. Next, what you want to do is unclick this, go to where it says browse so you can find the BIOS and you want to find it in the desktop, which is 
what we just did see you see our file we just created we're gonna select the folder and it's going to tell us like which region we want it to be in japan and we have two versions of europe i'm in the us so i'm gonna pick us console and click finish there you go so the plugins work just fine now what you want to do is you want to head over to configurations go to where it says video and then window settings and then over here what you want to do is you want to change the uh aspect ratio from standard to widescreen so it will actually fit your um your resolution and then over here what you want to do is unclick uh double click toggles for full screen and then instead you want it to default to full screen as soon as you open it so you won't have to keep doing that so you want to click apply and then okay okay so to actually boot a game what you want to do is go over to cd okay you want to head over here <laughs> and then you want to go to io selector right and then you want to go to browse so i keep my games on an external drive so just give me a second emulation games ps2 games so we're going to click punisher and we just click open then you want to go to systems you go to where it says boot io full so that's what you want to do playing the ps2 version of the punisher works perfectly fine 